Hi. Today I am going to continue from in the programming in C introduction from the topic we had discussed in the last video. So we have seen some basics of C. So today we'll continue. Uh, so today we'll start with the character sets of C. Let me start. Character sets in C. C language consists of some character set numbers and some special symbols. The character sets of C consists of all the alphabets of English language. Like C consists of alphabets A to Z. Let me write here also. Alphabets A to Z. A to Z means A, B, C, D to Z. It is in small letters and it also consists of capital letters A to Z. Then we have numbers 0 to 1 dot dot to 9. Or you can say numeric. Symbol. We have special symbols also. Like opening brace, closing brace, opening uh, rectangular bracket, closing rectangular bracket, question mark, plus, minus, multiplication symbol, division symbol, modulus symbol, not symbol, semicolon, colon, hmm. Comma also, and many more. Okay. The words formed from the character set are building blocks of your C programs. And that is also called tokens. Word formed with the help of these symbols. We call it token. It has some special uh, meaning. And it forms a building block of your C program. These tokens represent the individual entity of the language. The following different types of tokens are used in C are identifiers. We call it identifiers. Identifiers are also called variables. Okay. Keywords. Third is constants. And some operators. Like you have seen these symbols, plus, minus, star, these are operators. And then we have punctuation symbols, like semicolon, uh, colon, these are punctuation symbols. Exclamation sign. So, these are, these all, are built from the character sets and these character sets are made up of these symbols alphabets a to z or capital a to z numeric 0 to 9 special symbols these are and many more symbols are there okay so you can if you want to know more you just google it and you will get many information about the uh, character sets of c programming Okay, so let's discuss in detail about identifiers. The C program consists of two types of elements, 
user defined elements and system defined elements user defined elements means the programmer will define and another is system is already has defined system defined identifiers is nothing but a name given to these elements okay identifiers are the name given to the elements an identifier is a word used by the programmer to name a variable it is a word given by a programmer or used by a programmer to name a variable to name a variable okay identifier consists of letters and digits in any order except that the first character or it should not be the underscore identifier consists of letters and digits if in in any order except that the first character must be letter okay so if you remember this the first character should be letter it should not be number or underscore or any something uh, any other special character so just remember it should start with a letter both upper case and lower case letters can be used okay so there are 32 keywords that are auto break case char const const continue default which are already defined in the by the system okay so we cannot choose those names as your variable name So variable name is the name given to a storage area that our program run or manipulates. Each variable in C has a specific type which determines the size and layout of the variables in memory. Okay, so each variable in C has a specific type like integer, float, character. So which type of value we are going to store in this variables we define its data type and it will determine the size that requires for this type of variable the kind of data we want to store in this variable okay and the name of a variable can be composed of letters digits and underscore characters it must begin with either a lowercase or character uppercase. I have just told you these things, but it cannot be start with a uh, underscore or something like that. It should start with letter and the data types. Basic data types are char. Char is generally used for storing a single character. Okay. And it has its size is one byte. One byte means eight bit. Integer, another data type is int. The most natural size of integer for the machine. Uh, int is uh, int is used for storing numbers. Okay, and I will tell you the range of the numbers we can store with with this data type another data type is float float is used for storing decimal numbers okay and after that double a double precision floating point value it it also stores decimal number but it can its range is more than that of float and next is
just wait so these are the basic data types that is int care load double int for numbers char is for storing one single character float is for decimal numbers double is also for decimal numbers but it stores its uh, capacity is more than the float more than float means it can store uh, more decimal uh, uh, more numbers after decimals okay after decimal point then we have uh, another data type flow void void means uh, where we we want to not void means it is, uh, it is generally used in return type and when we write void it means it is not returning anything or you can say it is the absence of type means there is no any type requirement that's why we write void now let's discuss something about constants a constant is a value of an r an identifier whose value cannot be altered in a program okay so when we want to define a constant we just use const keyword with this and we define its value after that the value of that variable will not be changed like suppose we know that uh, pi value is 3.14 so we first declare it const double pi equal to 3.14 so if we do not write this keyword const so it is just a simple declaration uh, we can change its value also later on but if we write add this thing okay if we add this thing it means we cannot alter its value later on in the program okay so we have different types of floating points also integer floating integer constant floating point constant uh, character constant string constants you'll see all these things as and when required okay so now we come to escape sequences So these are some sequences and we have character also like slash b backspace for backspace slash f for form feed slash n for new line slash r for return slash t for horizontal tab slash v for vertical tab slash slash it is for backslash okay slash quote single quote single quotation mark double quotation mark uh 
after that slash question mark it is for question mark then slash o that is used for null character so now we come to operators in C. So C has many different types of operators. First is arithmetical operators. Second is assignment operator relational operator lo logical operators conditional operator bitwise operators Okay, and some miscellaneous operators also we'll discuss everything in detail. We are just seeing here, we'll discuss it all in detail. So let's come to the arithmetic operators. Let's discuss what, does, what are the, those operators which come inside arithmetic operator and what is its meaning. meaning of operator like plus it is for addition or unary addition addition or unary addition or you can say unary plus and similarly minus is for subtraction or unary minus Unary minus means we use this operand with operator with only one operand, then the, this operator becomes unary minus. Similarly, when we use this plus symbol with single operand, then that becomes unary plus. And this is multiplication. This is for division and this is for modulus. This is remainder operator or you can say remainder after division. Remainder after division. It is called modulus operator also. Okay. So what it will return? It will return the remainder of whatever we do div uh, after dividing whatever is left out. That is remainder. It will return. Okay. Suppose I write 3 modulus 2. So it will return 1. Suppose I write 9 modulo 2, it will also return 1. Okay. And uh, uh, rest of the things you know, it is same as your mathematical operator, but uh, uh, be careful about division and modulo. This is for division and this is for remainder operator. Okay. In mathematics, you write this same as this both of them you use for division, but here 
it is modulo operator means this will return remainder and this will division will re return quotient. There are some other operators also like increment and decrement operator. So just wait. So now we'll see increment decrement operator. Increment and decrement operators. So increment and decrement operators are used to change a value of an operand constant or variable by one. Okay, symbol is like this. For increment, we have this symbol plus plus. And for decrement, we have this symbol minus minus. So it will increase the variable of the value of the variable by one. It will decrement the value of variable by one. Means it will it means plus one, it means minus one. Okay. So increment plus plus increases the value by one, whereas decrement decreases the value by one. These two operators, <coughs> sorry, these two operators are unary operators, meaning they only operate on a single operand. Like suppose int a equal to ten and b equal to forty. Okay, and when I write plus plus a plus plus a what does it mean now a will be become a will become 11 okay if i write minus minus b after this line b will become 39 okay b will be decremented but after this line its value will be decremented by 1 if I write minus minus, but if I write plus plus, a, it means its value will be incremented by one. Now another operator, assignment operator. like this one equal to if i write a equal to b means the value of b will be assigned to a after the executing this line a will also contain the same value as b suppose a was 3 and b was 2 and if i write now a equal to b means we are assigning the value of b to a so, A will also become 2 and B is, B will remain 2. Okay. B's value will not be changed, but A's value will be changed because we are assigning a new value of a variable B to A. That is why A's value has been updated. It will become 2. So, there are other assignment operators also and it is also called shorthand operators plus equal to if I write A plus equal to B. What does it mean? It means A equal to A plus B. It means A equal to A plus B. This is same as this one. So, we use this shorthand operators plus equal to in code many times 
So you should understand if I write B plus equal to C. If I write B plus equal to C, what does it mean? B equal to B plus C. Means we are adding the value of B and C and it will store the updated value or the sum of these in B. So suppose if B has already has two and C has three. So when we execute this line B equal to B plus C, B will be updated with the value five and C will remain three. So this is plus equal to. Another assignment operator is minus equal to. Suppose if I write A minus equal to B. A minus equal to B. What does it mean? A is equal to A minus B. It is same as this one. Both are same. Suppose here A value is 10 and B is 5. And if I write A minus equal to B, it means A is equal to A minus B. So 10 minus 5, A will become 5. And B already has 5. B's value will not be changed. B's value will not be affected. Only A gets updated and it will become 5. After this line, a minus equal to B. Okay, so this is the shorthand operator. Next is multiply equal to. This one was 3. Now it, I name it 4. Number it 4. Multiply equal to. So if I write A multiply equal to B, it is same as A equal to A multiply by B. Okay, same thing. Si uh, similarly, we, as we are using here plus equal to minus equal to, similarly we write multiply equal to A into equal to B is equal to A into A plus into A is equal to A into B. Suppose A is 3 and B is 2. So A will become a into B is 6 and B will remain 2. After executing this line, A into equal to B, A star equal to B means A into A, A is equal to A into B. So now next is divide equal to. Same, same way, like A divide equal to B, means A is equal to A divided by B. So suppose same, uh, suppose I take the, the same value here written, A equal to 6 and B equal to 2. So if I divide, if I write A divide equal to B, so A will become A by B. So 6 by 2, the quotient will be 3. And B will remain the same. Okay. Now six, the next is modulo equal to. We can have all the assign, uh, arithmetical operators with that. This equal to symbol. These are all assignment operators. A modulo equal to means A modulo equal to B. It is same as A equal to A modulo B. Okay, this is shorthand operators. This will return the remainder. Oh, okay, suppose A is 3 and B is 2. Then the remainder, when we divide 3 by 2, the remainder will be 1. So after executing this line, A modulo equal to B, A will become 1 and B will remain 2. Okay. So, we will discuss. This is all for today. We will discuss later on next in the next video.
थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग